Hello there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. So on this video, we're going to talk about this thing that's actually really good. Personally, I've using it since college. Because on this video, I'm going to teach you how to use Sci-Hub and download the research papers. So again, guys, as I've mentioned, I've been using this one personally since the college days, my master's degree and bachelor's degree. You might ask me why, because let me just set it aside as of now, and technically, I'm going to show you what it is. So technically, this is going to be the landing page, what you should be seeing on your end also. So let's set it aside as of now and go to Google. So welcome back to the video. Right now, this is basically Google, right? But if you're a researcher, a student, to be precise, a college student with a master's of thesis, or you're trying to finish your thesis, you're utilizing Google most of the time. Did you know that it is also helpful if you use Google Scholar? So to access Google Scholar, just basically type in Google Scholar right there, click on it, and you'll have this one. It's also just the same as Google from before, but with this one, the results are more focused on research papers. Now with this one, we can just search anything we want. For example, organic photovoltaics. As you can see right here, the organic photovoltaics are going to be these results right here. Now take note, you're going to see this one. That means you can access them all together. But there are some results that don't have any access. For example, this one right here doesn't have one. Let me just open it right here. Also, this one right here doesn't have an access. Same goes with this one. And let's all check them all together. So welcome back to the video. Right now, this is the first one by Wiley. As you can see right here, it's also a good book. Let's try the next one. For this one, it's much like of a PDF view, but you can have the access, right? Perfect. So we have this right here, same as the first one, where it's basically the start of a book. And if you scroll down a little bit, you can have this one. So this is a preview subscription content. So access, you need to pay this one. So welcome back to the video. Right now, this is going to be our sample for today, advanced materials under organic photovoltaic over three decades. Now to access this one, I think it's around $48 for 15 uh, hours access or $15 for 48 hours access to so continue reading. However, I'm going to teach you how to override this one completely for free. So the thing you're going to need here is basically DOI. Please do not copy the URL of the book you have, but please copy this one. So copy the link address, make sure you copy DOI, okay? And go back to Sci-Hub. Now once you're in here, before we get into it, I want to just tell you that there are different kinds of link here. So these are the mirrors. You have sci-hub.se, sci-hub.st, RU, and the works. Because since this is a free version, then a lot of publishers, some big companies pay hundreds or even millions of dollars just to take it down. You heard me right. A lot of people in the industry, especially for publishing, pay a lot of money to take sci-hub down. So for example, ST is not working. Go to RU. Now let's get to it right now. Let me just paste it right here, the DOI. Again, please choose the DOI and not the link. Now with this one, simply click on open. So welcome back to the video. With a simple click of a button, you're going to have this option, where on the right side is basically the book we're looking for. Now there is no payment here. There is no requirement or subscription. It's totally for free. If you want to donate, so this is going to be the donation link or URL or QR code qualifies you may. And basically, you can download this paper by simple click of a button right there. Save it as a PDF and you have it right here. Now, before we get into it or move on, I think it's going to be my duty to tell you this disclaimer. So just a disclaimer, a quick one. So as of now, since I've told you that a lot of people is trying to cancel Sci-Hub because a lot of programmers or even publishers are paying top money to take this down. Some of which, including UK, Australia, and France, is currently banned in their website. And right here, especially for the students, should not be aware that accessing such illegal websites as it's so stolen intellectual property basically are not good. And with that, just a disclaimer. However, even there is a disclaimer for that. If you go back to Sci-Hub, as of now, in the past hour, there are 120,968 users as of now. Take note about that one. Also, I want to take note the creator is going to be this woman right here. Alexandra Bakken, and this is the person behind Sci-Hub. This is the bio, CV, photo, work ideas, and contact if you want to contact her. 
pretty popular. Actually, she is my savior. Because on the college days, she really helped me out on my thesis. Also, to change the language, please go in here. You have Chinese, I think, Portuguese. And please correct me, I think this is going to be Egyptian. So please correct me if I'm wrong. Anyway, under Sci-Hub, you have a total of 88,343,882 documents ready to be downloaded. So if you don't like Sci-Hub just for the, the reason that you don't like it, I have another one for you. So it's going to be called anas-archive.se right here. Same as Sci-Hub, sometimes it's take, going to take down. So if it doesn't work for SE, try org, try st, and the works. Anyway, basically with this one, it's much like Sci-Hub. As you can see right here, SciDB, because SciHub has post uploading for new papers. Take note, earlier it's only 88 million, I think, for SciHub. But for this one, and as archive, you're gonna have 98 million. Same drill guys, paste the DOI. I wanna highlight. Please use DOI, not URL. And then click on open. So welcome back to the video. Much like SciHub, Anna's archive has the same interface. Right side is the result, left side is the details. You can download, you can go to SciHub, you can go to DOI, or just simply click on download right here. Perfectly right there. Take note, this is entirely for free. Now for some reason, just for the sake of the discussion, you don't like SciHub, you don't like Anna. I'm gonna give you this one last application for you called Unplay or unplaywall.com. But this one's not technically a website, but an extension. So simply click on this extension right here to have database for 50 million free scholarly articles. So this is free, not like much SciHub, which is going to be bypassing papers. So click on get extension. And with this one, simply go in here. Don't be afraid that you're going to be directed. However, simply click on add to Chrome. You're going to be directed on the Chrome web store. So simply add to Chrome right here, add extension and make sure it's going to be enabled and make sure it's going to be enabled on this option right here under there let me just pin it perfect so let's go on a specific article so welcome back to the video right now this is going to be the article from earlier so we can only have one reference so we can compare right so for sci-hub it's good for anna is good how about for the unpaywall extension you're going to see this option that's like an lock icon so if you click on this one Unplay extension could not find an illegal open access version for this article. That means there is no free version for this one. So here's another example that is actually available. You're going to see it green right here. If you want to download it using Unpay Wall. And with that, simple click of a button, you're going to have this option. So it's not really as strong as Sci-Hub. It's not really as strong as Xana because it's still limited for free and not free. However, it's still also a cool one. With one click of a button, you can open the article PDF view. Anyway, those are the things, so please take it as a grain of salt, and please use them moderately. Sci-Hub and Anna. So thank you so much for watching, please hit the like button, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye for now.